Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos on my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I actually get ready. It's usually way less glamorous than my tutorials. I'm usually not that professional. I need to close the window. Because I usually don't have a plan, don't know what products I'm going to use, I usually accidentally pour foundation all over my clothing, so I usually don't put on my real outfit until after I'm done getting ready, because I'm a klutz. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I actually get ready, the unglamorous version. So if you guys are curious to see that, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I like to do before I get ready every single time I do my makeup is literally get so super close into the mirror and pluck out all of these beautiful little eyebrow hairs that grow in overnight because they are really ugly and then half the time I can't even get the hairs because they haven't grown in enough and then I get like one or two hairs just like on my chin I'm pretty sure that that's normal is it? Do you guys ever spend like 20 minutes trying to pull out one hair and then you just can't do it so you give up? <laughs> That's me right now. Whoa! Just, just drop my toner. Since I washed my face a couple hours ago, I'm just going to tone my face to get the oils back to normal. This one is by Onsen. It's their Balance and Prepare Daily Toner. I really like this brand. They sell it. Um, in those mall kiosks and stuff sometimes and it's really overpriced usually you kind of have to bargain to get the price down but I actually saw it on Holt Look a couple of months ago so I grabbed it I think it was like 20 bucks or something but I love this stuff and I love the smell of it too it smells like a spa I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of moisturizer so typically when I'm doing my makeup I'm listening to Spotify if you guys want to follow me on Spotify, I'll link my playlist in the description box below. Okay, now is the part where I look through my drawer of endless amounts of foundation and primers and pick one that I haven't used in a while. Hmm. So I'm going to use a mix of my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in 5.5 with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. They're both the wrong color, this is too dark, this is too light, and I don't want to be so super dewy, so I'm going to add a little bit of matte in there too, so this is a perfect combination right now. But for primer, I don't know what I'm going to do for primer yet. I have a little sample of the Smoothing Primer by Makeup Forever. Let's see what this does. Oh, that blurs out my pores really well, actually. The real test will be if it gets all bally and weird once I blend out my foundation. I hope this also keeps me matte, because otherwise I'll be an oil slick by the middle of the day. So I've been using a sample of the Inglot concealer. I need to pick up the full size, but I haven't done that yet. So I've just been taking a little bit of it. If I can open it. I've been taking a little bit of it with like a synthetic brush and I've just been putting it where I need it. So right in kind of like my eye bag area and just around my nose. And I have this one pimple right here in this little area. And then I've just been using my Luxie Small Contouring Brush number 512 to kind of buff this in underneath my eyes and just over my lids because my lids are super discolored. I'm taking one pump of my Armani and just squeezing a bit of the pro mat, then I'm just gonna kind of push it in different sections of my face. And then to blend the colors together, I'm gonna kind of circulate it over the area. And then I'm gonna actually blend it in for real. Sometimes when I'm listening to music while I'm doing my makeup, a song will come on that gives me some serious anxiety and I just get really angry and mad while I'm doing my makeup and I try to do it super quickly and stuff and then I have to change the song. Does that happen to anybody else or am I just really weird? Like this song is making me anxious. Ow! My knee just locked. Show that I don't have any 
If I'm listening to music in the background of this video, am I gonna get copyrighted? So I've been doing my eyebrows a little bit differently lately, actually. First, I've been using some brow wax. This is the Milani one, just to set them down. And then, I've been taking my Pro Palette by Anastasia, and I've been using the shade Granite to fill in my brows, because I like them to be a little bit darker these days for some reason. I always start by underlining the bottom of my brows first. Shut up. Oh my god, I hate when there's like a bad song streak when like five songs in a row. Just I'm not a fan of. I can't talk while I'm doing my brows to concentrate. Now we blend. I love putting my brows on. I think that's my favorite part of doing my makeup is doing my brows. So funny story by the way. When I was in middle school, I think it was like sixth or seventh grade, I went through this like rebellion stage where I didn't like this whole front part of my brows, the part that grows upward instead of to the side. So I would pluck it and like shave that section away. So my eyebrow literally started from right here onward. And I looked like such a loser. I don't know why I did that. I just hated that section of my eyebrows. Anyone else do that or am I the only freak? So I dropped and shattered my Stay Matte Powder last week and I haven't picked up another one yet. So I've been using this Australis powder. This is the Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in Deep Natural. I just kind of like do a light dusting of this on my face. I forgot to set my concealer. Okay, we'll do that next. I'm gonna set my concealer with what I have left of this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I literally drop at least five brushes while I'm doing my makeup. I'm just gonna dust this away right away. Something in my eye. Low battery! <laughs> literally just charged you, camera. This is the Virtual Domination Palette by NARS, and I'm gonna be using this shade right over here. Not too much, but just to add a little flush. For bronzer slash contour today, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. Mm. My baby hairs always come out to play when I'm bronzing my forehead. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this banana color mixed with the light peach to brighten my eyelid area. I usually do not wear any eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis. I just can't be bothered. I don't even wear mascara, honestly. I might today. Usually don't. Let's curl my lashes, actually. For highlighter today... What did I not use in a while? Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of Becca Opal first using my Smashbox fan brush. And I'm just gonna... Hit that in this general area. And then to intensify that, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Bobbi Brown Pink Glow on my Anastasia number A23 brush and just put it at the highest point. I feel like this brush is a little bit too intense to do your whole highlight because it doesn't blend it. It kind of just makes a stripe of it. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus and it never actually sprays. There we go. My skin feels so dry today. I know that in like 30 minutes. I hate these drawers, by the way, the Ikea ones. They make so much noise when I open and close them. It's really obnoxious. I'm going to be using NARS Chelsea Girls Lip Gloss. So I'm gonna start off with the Eyes to Kill by Armani. This one does a good job of lengthening, but I feel like it doesn't give my lashes too much volume. Yeah, you guys are about to see my excessive eyelash mascara routine. No matter what I do, I always get mascara just right above my lashes and my lash line. It's really annoying. But now I'm gonna go ahead and layer that up with my Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Mascara, and this one really adds a lot of volume and plumps up my lashes. People always ask me if I'm wearing fake lashes when I use this mascara. So I usually forget this step, but today I remembered. So I'm gonna just set my face with the uh, Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. 
I haven't been wearing mascara on my lower lashes recently. I just, I don't know. You know what I seriously believe? I believe that if your face is done, your hair could look as messy as can be, but like you'll still look put together because your face is put together, you know? Like once my face is done, I just don't have any more energy to do my hair, ever. Anyone else? Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys liked this more laid back, real version of how I get ready. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of a unedited, less glamorous version of how I get ready because most of the time when I'm getting ready, this is what it is. I just take forever and I'm a mess. But that's, all, that's the days that I'm actually wearing makeup. Nine out of 10 times, there are only seven days in the week. So mm, five out of seven days of the week, I'm usually not wearing makeup. Or if I am wearing makeup, I'm wearing makeup to film and then I'll usually wash it off just because, I don't know, I like to let my skin breathe most of the time. I don't really like to put on makeup every single day of the week. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you guys have any video requests, then please leave them in the comments below because I am making a master list of all the videos that I need to film in the future. So if you guys have any suggestions, then I would love to add them to that list. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I think I drank too much coffee this morning. My brain can't think straight. All right, I think I'm done. I'm done, I'm done.